Originally, this character didn't have a backstory. He was a combination of two themes, the teddy bear and death. It wasn't until between September, October of 2016, he was actually created, and I dubbed him Pin Bear. When I think back on him, the idea of him reflected to me the concept of taking childhood nostalgia or comforting memories and twisting them into something horrific, whether that be with some of the phobias that he represents, like the fear of needles or the fear of fire, and to name a few. They turn away, they turn away from fear. It was, or it was interesting to see him become as popular as he was dur or during the time when he was first made to up to this point. He had sold multiple times, either in person or online through Etsy. Even today, he's experienced various changes in his design. Whereas he used to have a full beard where now it's become a lot more patchy and his mouth has become hinged, allowing him to be more movable while being worn. Similar to the design of the one lich inspired mask I have on my channel where the strap is hooked on the back of the head and then there's the normal one for support. At the moment, not really sure what kind of backstory to give him, other than that his character was once human, and is no longer that anymore. I do warn you, Joe. If you ever see this mask, be wary. It was unfortunately recognized to leave behind some nasty after effects.